welcome viewers to another episode in a series of episodes that are focused on extensive revision of the August 2023 Mathematics Paper 1. So if you haven't seen other episodes, please go to our YouTube channel and check for playlists that contains these extensive revision of each and every question from this paper. So questions are grouped in according to the paper and the topics. This it's important for you, especially if you are struggling with a specific topic. You go to a specific topic, you find a series of questions from different papers as far as 2017. Let us look at question 16. In the diagram, A, B, C and D are points on the circumference of a circle with center O. BD equals AD and angle ADB equals 40 degrees. Find angle A or B, B find angle B, C, D, then C angle O, B, D. So again, there will always be a question on circle theorem in paper 1. So what can we answer based on the information that we've been given? So the first thing is we know that the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference or in other ways an angle subtended by an arc at the center is twice the angle subtended at the circumference so this tells me that this angle here is twice this angle so this angle is equal to 80 degrees which is 40 multiplied by 2 next because these two are equal, means these two should be the same. So let us call these angles to be x, and this will be x. We know that when we sum all the angles in any given triangle, we get 180. So x plus x is 2x, then plus this 40 must equal to 180. So you can find x, so it will be 2x is equal to 180 minus 14. So we have 2x equals 140. We divide by 2, we divide by 2. So x is equal to 70 degrees. So this angle is 70 degrees. We're just trying to see what we can find. Then if that's 70 degrees, and we know that this is a radius because this is a center meaning this one and this one are equal so if this angle is 80 then these angles which is this one and this one should be equal so i'll call this y y so again the similar manner we are going to say 2 which is y plus y 2y plus 80 equals 180 so we divide by 2, if I want I can divide by 2 throughout, but let me not do that, it might be quicker, so I'm going to have 2y is equal to 180 minus 80, so 2y is equal to 100, I then divide by 2, I divide by 2, so y is equal to 50, so y in this case, so this is equal to 70 degrees, 70 degrees, then y this is equal to 50 degrees if that's the case what tells me or what i can deduce from that is now this angle here should be 20 if this whole entire angle is 70 then 70 minus 50 will give me 20 degrees then this angle is also 20 degrees then next I know what this angle is. This angle is 70, then I can find this angle using the quadratic cyclic or cyclic quadratro. So the opposite angles of cyclic quadrat quadratro are supplementary or they add up to 180. So what this tells me is this angle which is 70, then I add with this angle which I can call M must give me 180. So what I know now is M plus 70 
is equal to 180. So M is equal to 180 minus 70. So M is equal to 110 degrees. Okay. So I found most of the things that I was looking for. They missing. What is A or B? A or B we found it to be 80. So this is 80 degrees. B, C, D. So B, C, D. Which is just from finding it is 110 degrees. Then next is O, B, D. O, B, D. Which is this angle. Just from finding it is 20 degrees. So you found everything. Once you do that, you are good to go and you get these marks. So the first one, we found it to be 80. So this is one mark. Then B is 110, which is one mark. Then we have C, two marks. So you get the four marks when you do that. So this is how you answer this question. So easy once you understand the key principle. And again, this question is always there. So just a matter of you understanding the fundamentals. Once you do that, you are good to go.